do a video um, about an antique haul that I did. Um, my sister and her boyfriend, we all went to an antique store, and a cool, interesting fact is that about me is that I love little bottles, specifically medicine bottles, um, but also like perfume bottles and things like that. And my sister collects salt and pepper shakers. And so when we go to these places, we try to look for interesting things. And I found a few things that I really love and I bought. And I put it on my dresser, which, see my, above my dresser right there, I have a little collection of, like, little bottles and things. So, um... First one I did I have is what I'm gonna start with. These aren't bottles, but these are little pottery pieces. And they're really small, but really beautiful blue, green color. And I really like those. And then I thought this one these two are really good for Halloween. This one says Bustanobi Forbidden Fruit Liqueur, and it's just like this, and has a little crown on the top. It's kind of hard for me to hold it. I just do it like this, and um, it's really pretty and different shaped. And then I have this one, and this one said, and it's kind of shine. The light is really bright. But it says ginger on it, and I thought this looked really Halloween-like, and I also love ginger anyway, so I thought it would be a good different one than most of my other ones that I have. And, uh, start with the smallest one. I got, I love blue, um, like dark blue ones, and so I got this little one, and it's like a little jar and I could put stuff in it. I was thinking about maybe making a um, something to put in it that I could use like an organic moisturizer or organic deodorant or something, perfume maybe, that I could put in this um, or just have it as a jar. Anyway, it just looks really cool and I love the color. And I found these in different places in the store, but they're all the same color. This one's a, the second biggest, and I just like the shape of it aesthetically and the color. And then this one is the biggest one. And like I said, I put them like n next to each other. Um, so they kind of look interesting together but I only bought a few things but I also have some other ones that I'd like to show you that I've, ha I've had for a while So, first of all, let's do the not so different. This is an old Coca Cola bottle, and it just looks much more different than the ones they have now. And I, I do collect regular glass bottles too, but with those glass bottles, like the non antique ones, I plan on eventually making them into a bigger art piece or repurposing or reusing them in some way. Um, maybe make them into glasses that I can like cut, cut them in half or whatever and then singe off the top so I can use them as actual glasses. Or um, breaking them and making a mosaic out of them. And then I have this one which is, I kept this, uh, it's an amber bottle, it's really beautiful brown and gold color 
and I cut this on it to because it tells about it. Um, amber medicine bottle with court finish. Um, 1890. So this is an 1890 medicine bottle. Um, I love how antique it looks. It looks really great next to all my fairies and um, things like that, that I have over there from my grandmother. So it just gives a very mystical look to my room and aesthetic. Aesthetically makes it look great. Um. This one's another one I kept the little uh, paper on it. Um, it's just a plain, it looks like a plain little bottle with a cork on the top. Um, it says Vintage Apothecary Bottle, um, 1875 to 1927. So it's a fairly old bottle. It's good and is a good shape. It's not very extremely dirty or anything but it, it looks really beautiful and one of my favorite ones is this one which is a red bottle which you don't see a lot of red bottles anymore and they have little um, I think they're apples on the sides I don't know if you can see that or pears something like that on each side and it's just very detailed and you don't see a lot of square bottles like this anymore either so I don't know where this one's from or how old it is exactly but I really like the look of this and I feel like it goes really well with all my other bottles so yeah that's a little bit about me um, how something that I like that's not necessarily uh, has has really much of a purpose besides aesthetic um, and just liking little bottles that have a history to them. Um, I don't know why I like medicine bottles so much and perf little perfume bottles. Well, except for this little um, alcohol bottle too. But uh, maybe it's just they look different and the bottles back in the day were... Um, you don't see glass bottles for medicine anymore, maybe. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those random things I have an affinity for um, that I've always liked. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope y'all like the video, and let me know if you have if you also like medicine bottles, or you think it's weird, or um, whatever. Um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.